have a lot of rain on the way here. We're not getting around by boat right. or anything, but it's going to be wet. Yeah, it is. And in the past three days, we've had really nothing but sunshine. Yeah. So it's a big change from what we've been experiencing. We've been close to 80 degrees two days in a row now. Today won't be quite as warm, but take a look at how warm it is this morning. We are at 72 degrees. We're mostly cloudy, but there have been some thin spots in the clouds where the sun as it's coming up is starting to get through. So uh, we may see a little of that through the morning hours and we still have rain on the way this morning. So that's going to be working through mid to late morning around lunchtime. We'll start to see the morning stuff taper off and then temperatures will push back into the mid 70s through three o'clock, but then more showers and thunderstorms develop later in the day. Those will be around for the drive home at five and even into the evening. And outside of those thunderstorms, we have windy conditions in the forecast to that south southwest wind 15 to 25 gusting to 35. And then there's even the potential for some severe weather. So we have a marginal threat for some stronger wind gusts that exceed 60 miles an hour. May see an isolated warning for that. A slightly greater severe threat just off to our south where we have some better instability in portions of Kentucky back into southern Illinois. So our severe weather impact is going to be the strong winds. That's the main thing we're concerned about. A very low hail threat, but a slightly greater tornado heavy rain threat could have some isolated heavier downpours. Uh, overall wind, though, is going to be the main thing today. Nothing severe to our west right now. It's just some scattered old, old regular old rain showers, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder, but that will be working in as we head through the mid morning hours. There's a cold front uh, back across Illinois, so that is what is going to come through and really push in some cooler air for the end of the week and the weekend. Ahead of that front, it's a strong southerly flow, 14 mile per hour wind, 72 degrees, dew point slowly rising. It's 58 now, it will push into the 60s today. But then behind the front, take a look at those temperatures over the next several days, Friday through Monday, we're only going to see highs in the mid 60s and we will be dealing with a few chances of rain too. Here's a check of future track 8 a.m. still has that rain to the west spreading in through the rest of the morning and we'll have it around for the drive home at five evening plans affected by scattered showers and thunderstorms may see a shower linger early Friday morning, but then that'll be moving out for the afternoon we will be dry through Friday evening even into the first part of the weekend. If you have games or practices to head out to Saturday morning, no threat of any showers. Then most of the afternoon looks dry, but by Saturday evening, we'll start to see a slight shower chance once again. Today we're up to 75. It's going to be windy with scattered showers and thunderstorms likely and will still be kind of windy tonight. We'll lose some of the stronger gusts, but more showers and thunderstorms will drop to 57. A few lingering showers in the morning tomorrow, otherwise mostly cloudy and cooler, only 66. And then most of Saturday looks dry, slight shower chance by evening. Uh, we'll have some showers Saturday night and into the first part of Mother's Day. We'll see a high Sunday of 65 and then we'll dry out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, increasing sunshine and we start to warm up.